What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Samsung has pushed out a brand new update for one of its good luck modules called Camera Assistant. As you all know, Camera Assistant is a fantastic good luck module which uh, adds some additional functionalities and it enables us to customize the camera settings on the Samsung's default camera application. Now this application, this module has got a brand new update and it adds some additional features as well. Now as you can see, uh, on the top it says support model. So this update of course comes with some caveats. All the new features added, uh, will not be applicable for all the predecessors as of now it's available for galaxy s24 ultra and some of the features are also available for the galaxy s23 ultra and some of them may be for the galaxy s22 ultra as well we are going to see the other two phones as well and see whether there are any new features added for s23 ultra and the s22 ultra so stay tuned now uh, the supported model as it says one ui 5.1 or higher it includes s23 s23 fe s22 s21 s20 note 20 full 5 flip 5 Fold 4, Flip 4, Fold 3, Flip 3, Fold 2 and Flip. And it also supports uh, models with One UI 6.0 or higher which includes S24, a73, A72, A54, A53, A52S, A52 5G, A52 M54, F54, Quantum 2. Now these are the supported models. Not all these features are supported on these models. Now let me take you through the change log here. It's very important to see this. Uh, it says added zoom shortcuts 10x, 100x. Now 10x is something which was already there on S24 Ultra. Now we have got 100x shortcut inside the camera application. We are going to check this on the S23 as well as S22 and see whether it is available for those two phones. Uh, the next feature is added the DOF adapter correction, which will automatically correct images flipped by external depth of field adapters. So if you're using the external depth of field adapters for your phone for uh, taking photos or videos, then this feature is going to automatically correct the images flipped by these adapters. And it also says this correction is only applied in pro and pro video modes. The next feature is added the anamorphic lens correction. Automatically de-squeeze previews and videos to correct distortion from external anamorphic lenses. Again, if you're using these lenses, this will be applicable. This correction is only applied in pro video mode while using 16 by nine ratio. 8K and 120 FPS is excluded. The last feature is added at the audio monitoring. Monitor the sound to be recorded to video modes through external output devices such as Bluetooth, HDMI, and USB earphone. Now I will test this feature as well, so keep watching the video. Now let me go ahead and update this application. This is of course on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. First let me show you these features or settings on the camera application. Before I open this app, let me go to Samsung camera. Now this is the camera application. I will go to settings. Now you see the camera assistant is available right here since I have already installed this module from GoodLog. Now let me tap our camera assistant. Here on the top, you will see zoom shortcuts. Now uh, we already had 2x and 10x. Now you can see we've got 100x shortcut as well. Let me just uh, go to the camera first and show you the uh, shortcuts that we have for the zoom. You see we've got shortcuts for 1x, 3x, 5x and 10x. Now let me go to the settings and go to camera assistant and enable the 100x as well. Let me tap on zoom shortcuts. I will turn on 100x. Now let's go back. Now you see we have got 100x as well. This is the shortcuts for uh, the 100x zoom. We can directly tap on this to reach 100x capability of this camera, which is just fantastic. Now just in case, if you are someone who prefer to have 100x in handy, then you can enable this feature or you can just keep it disabled in the settings. Now I don't prefer that, so I'm going to uh, disable this option but I'll keep 2x, 3x and 10x options. Again, something to note here, it's remote sized crop of the high resolution sensor. So this 2x and 10x are the crops on the S24 Ultra. 3x and 5x will be the optical zoom that we have on the S24 Ultra. Now let me go back. You can also see the brand new options here at the bottom on camera assistant. Uh, we have got DOF adapter correction. We have got a switch uh, which can be enabled here. Uh, like I already read this out automatically, it corrects uh, the images flipped by external depth of field adapters. Then we've got uh, anamorphic lens correction. We can turn this off or on depending on whether you're using these lenses or not. Uh, the next one is audio monitoring. Now this is interesting. While shooting video, play the sound being recorded through connected Bluetooth, HDMI or USB headphones or speakers. Now let me test this feature in some time. Now these are the features which we have already received on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. By the way, before even I got this update, these were available on the S24 Ultra. Now what we are going to do is, uh, we are going to check the same update on the uh, S24 Ultra, uh, sorry, uh, the S23 Ultra as well. As you can see, we have got the same updates available here. Now I'll just tap on update. Let me keep this aside here. 
Now let me show you uh, the update here. Now let me open this. Now let's see what have we got. On the top, we do not have uh, uh, 10x, the 100x option here. We just have 2x crop zoom shortcut. Uh, whereas on the S24 Ultra, you can see, let me just go to the assistant. You can see we have got zoom shortcut uh, option on which we have got all these options. Now here, we don't have zoom shortcut option on the S23 Ultra. This is currently available only for the S24 series. Now let's go back and let's scroll down and see what else we have got. Let me also go back on this. Uh, these are the new features which we have got here. DOF adapter correction, anamorphic length correction and audio monitoring. Now uh, below this video recording in uh, photo mode or uh, timer multi uh, photo options, we do not have these uh, new options on the S23 Ultra. Now uh, I'm not sure what did they really add on the S24, uh, the S23 Ultra. I don't see any new features over here. Let me open uh, the camera application as you can see, we have 2x, 3x, and 10x zoom options. And uh, when I go to settings and uh, tap on a camera assistant, we don't see those zoom capability or the zoom options on the top. And we don't even see those additional features uh, which we have received on the S24 series. Now maybe Samsung has reserved these features only for the S24 series. Now let me check the update on the S22 series. I have already updated uh, the application on the S22 series as well. This is the S22 Ultra. Now you can see this is the uh, all new version let me uh, show you the version here. It's 2.1.00.2, which is the same version available on the other two phones. And uh, the update was received on a 30th Jan 2024. Now let me open uh, the camera assistant here. Again, on the top, we do not have uh, the zoom options here. We don't even have 2x option. And we don't have those additional settings or the additional options that we got on uh, the S24 series. Now let's go to the camera application. And let me uh, check if we have 2x option. No, we do not have 2x option by default. And we don't have an option to add 2x on the camera assistant as well. Now that is sad, uh, we have not received any of these new features on the S22 series and uh, the S23 series. Uh, however, on the S24 series, we have got all these brand new features. Now let's talk about this last feature that is the audio monitoring. Now this is a very cool feature. Now what happens here is if you're connected, let's say uh, Galaxy Buds or any other headphones to this phone while recording the video, you will be able to hear all the audio that is being captured from the phone. Now let's say I have connected uh, the Samsung Galaxy Buds here. As you can see, the buds are connected here. Now I can just go to the uh, camera application, tap on video, wear my earphones, and uh, what happens now is I will be able to clearly hear all that the phone is capturing uh, when the video mode is on. Now I can just tap on record and I will be able to clearly hear all that which is being recorded on the phone. Now this will be helpful for some of you guys who want to have such feature. Uh, you will be able to monitor your audio while recording the video from uh, the phone. That's the last feature we have. Now of course Samsung is going to reserve many of the new features only for the latest phones. So if you're interested in uh, all these new features then probably you might have to upgrade to the S24 Ultra. Uh, there will be lots of new features which will uh, be re released by Samsung only for the S24 series uh, may not be for the predecessors. However, the Galaxy S23 series is still a great phone uh, and we have got more or less all the features needed. So I don't think you need to upgrade for these features. But having said all that, we do have some additional features on the S24 Ultra, which are cool if you are going to make use of them. Now you guys let me know what do you think about all these updates? Uh, do you prefer having this on the Samsung Galaxy phones? Would it be useful? Would you like to get them on the S23 or S22 series? Drop a comment and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And when you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find this informational. Thanks for watching. My name is Salyan signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.